Locked. Aha! Well, doesn't look like there's anything bad in here. Let's investigate! Camera? Wait, camera? What the, what, what's the camera for? Um... That way, okay. Try the store. Locked. There they are. Come here, ladies. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try that door first. Okay. Come here, ladies. I'm going to chop you in bits, yell. Ah, get it, get it, get me. Alright. This place doesn't look pretty. Steel plate screwed in. Aha! Remember that steel plate that was screwed to the wall? Now we finally get to take it off. We now have screwdriver. We can find it. Oh, there it is. There's a key. Electricity is flowing through the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Oh, great. So, um... Whoop. Whoop-de-doo. Alright, so we gotta find a way to turn off the power. So, we're pretty much done here. All that's left is... the third floor. Am I going the right way? I can't even tell anymore. Yes! And in we go. Third floor. Alrighty. Okay, so these things are probably where those panels we find are supposed to go. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. Lights the future. Lights the future. The light illuminating the darkness. Light. Light, light, light. Camera! Camera makes a flash, right? Aha! Alright, so those show triangle. Backwards L and arrow. Camera on this one. N plus triangle. Okay. N plus triangle equals what? Oh, I see now. Alright, um... Okay, triangle, backwards, L, and arrow, alright. Triangle, backwards, L, and arrow, that's right. Aha! Alright, that door's unlocked. N plus triangle, okay. Gotcha! Alright guys, right or the left? Uh, let's go left first. Ha! 
Birdcage key! So that's on the first floor. And let's go in here. It's kind of a small room. Aha! What do we have here? There's a place mark in the book. White Claudia. Perennial herb found near water. Reaches height of 10 to 15 inches. Oblong leaves, white blossoms. This is the flower that makes that drug that Kaufman was using. Seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was key. That's what made Lisa go crazy. Pick that up. No. Mm, should. Why can't I pick that up? I should be able to read it. I guess not. Oh well. Anything else? No. What about those things on the floor? No. Okay, well, we're out of here. So we got the birdcage key, so um, off, off we go. Let's see, it was on the first floor. Sheesh, this music is just interesting, isn't it? Should be down here. And running into walls, Harry! No, wait, that's not it. There we go, we finally get to open this thing. Use the birdcage key. Got the key of failing. Should be right here, I think. Yes. Oh God, those are the bad ghosts. Those are demon children that are basically, um, Able to hurt. The chain is missing a link. Got the dagger of Melchior. The chain is missing a link. Do I have anything to link the chains together? The ring! Use the ring of contract. The chain is fixed with the ring. Okay. Um, yay! What? What? Well, I guess it's a good thing that we took the knife and decided to close that thing off, or else we'd probably be in trouble right now. Can I pick up that pipe? No, can't? Okay. Locked. The word Beth Thor is on the. All right. Ah! Get off of me. Uh, this one. Yeah. All right. Let's see how my health is looking. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nothing helpful, but what about that health drink? Yeah, that's helpful. That's what you want there, Harry. Ooh, bullets. Nothing useful in the boxes. Well, you can grab the bullets right in front of your face, Harry. Yeah. Nothing useful in the boxes. I know, Harry! Okay, fine. I can't go that way. What? 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 Aha! No, wait. No, that's nothing. Never mind. My aha was pointless. Alrighty. VCR, it's old but usable. We should actually be able to watch that videotape again 
but have it be in full clarity this time. What is it? Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. Alrighty. So now we know the true nature of what was on that tape. And, oh, wait, there's something more over here. Jelly beans, do you want to open the bag? Sure, I'm in the mood for jelly beans. I love jelly beans. I dropped all the jelly beans! Oh, but I, I got a key. Key of Bethor, alright, it was in the jelly bean bag? Why was that important key to this cold thing in the nightmare world in a bag of jelly beans? It makes no sense! Alright, child's room. We're not supposed to be here yet, but this leads to the final boss. What we do want is to try out this door. It's locked. The word. Aratron is on it, so we gotta go through the Betor room. Oh, ah! <laughs> Get off of me! Wrong door. Wait, correct door? I think. <laughs> okay. Well, we got the onk. Sheesh, Alessa must, uh, let's see, the fourth wall well, is covering it with graffiti. Yeah, Alessa must have been locked up in here, and she must have been very bored. Get away from me, you demon child ghost thingy! Ah! Death or go! It's this thing again. Generator is not working. Do you want to press the switch? Yes. Aha! So now we can grab that key. Alrighty. Um. Ah! The door. That's right, we turn off the power. Um... <laughs> ah, this is freaking kids again! Ah. There we go, okay. Aratron or whatever. Wait. Um, let's see. I think we gotta go to the basement again. <laughs> That's right, there was that one room. Ah, damn these kids! Damn you kids! I need to heal now. Wow, this guy, whoever made this save file, sure had a lot of goodies. Oh my god! <laughs> I have no idea where I am now. Oh wait, this leads down to the basement, doesn't it? No, that leads to a classroom. Herp de derp de derp de derp de derp de derp de derp. Oh boy, I'm gonna get lost. Because there's no map to this place. This is the elevator, right? Yes. Oh, that's right! It's at the end of this hall. Damn you kids! Damn you kids! Yeah! 
Aha! Ah! God damn it, kid! There we go. Everything is going according to plan. Sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. Oh my god, that voice acting is and terrible! The soul remains captured in that husk. That's gotta be just some guy that worked there. That He's day. buried deep down in the subconscious. He was picked from a random drawing. Are you trying to say it won't work? He was very happy that day. That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. I'm sure to come on Sybil. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm so terrible. I'm looking for my missing daughter and all I'm thinking about is Sybil. Alessa. Alessa, 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 Alessa. All right, we got all the items. This is it, guys. We are now about to do the final showdown. So I'm going to max my health. I'm going to save my game. I am going to equip the hunting rifle. And we are going to go kick some ass. It's locked. Blah, 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 blah. Put these... Put the things of their respective shape into the respective holes. Two. Three. Four. And five! And just so I don't have to do that again in case I die, I'm gonna save one more time. And this will be our final save. Alright, guys. Here we go. Do what mommy tells you now. Mommy tells you to die I for your mommy. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. Oh my god, what is wrong with you, Dahlia? I could have done it all myself. You're stupid! Mommy? Oh, and that is why everything has gone to hell and back, because Dahlia is a freaking nutjob that wanted to rush things. I'll explain what I'm talking about here uh, soon, because you're going to need to see the next cutscenes. I'll explain it during the boss fight, because the boss fight isn't that spectacular. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. How?
How did Sybil get there ahead of us? So returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Who you calling a man? Oh. Even though Alessa has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Freeze, I'm gonna shoot you. And get swiftly Dolly. blown away. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Oh, you kinda helped me. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Can you speak up, Dolly? I can't hear you. Why? Why are you doing this? Good thing there's subtitles. It's been a long seven years. Four score and seven years ago. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. My Little Pony Alessa Marathon? She's been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. Oh, classic My Little Pony, Pony Marathon. By that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Yay! Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. My daughter will be the mother of God. Quick note, the God we're talking about is not the Christian God or any of the other gods. It's their God, which they believe is the one and only God. And their God is the goddess of the sun. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. You won't get away with us. Your work is over. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you could accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this. A glove in this! I thought I got rid of that! All I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all well. Can be busy. Can you all speak ah, up? You're easy. And there's more where this came from. I'm going to throw this at you. Any day now. Bonk. I wish he Pratt fell right there. Just bonk thunk. <laughs> huh? What the? <laughs> Did you speak last there? He asked Dahlia. 
What on earth? That's not supposed to. Okay, guys, now that we have a moment, let me explain to you what on earth has just happened in this game. So, story time, pull up a chair. Silent Hill is the incarnation of basically this horrible, horrible paradise. Yes, I say paradise. That's what was Dahlia was talking about. And the whole thing about Cheryl is that Cheryl was really Alessa reincarnated. As we, uh, as Harry has said, Cheryl was found on the side of the road. Nobody knew where she came from, so they just took her in. Well, Cheryl was Alessa. Alessa did that to get away. Well, it didn't really work because they got called back to the town and, well, all this bad stuff happened. So, what we are now seeing is that Kaufman was used... Uh, to basically use his drug for hallucinogens to make people, well, hallucinate and believe all this stuff. And therefore, they got more cult members and it became a big mess because now everyone's trying to revive their god, which is the goddess of the sun. And uh, it's not really a very nice god. The whole point of reviving this god is to basically cause Armageddon and the Apocalypse and then everybody who was a true believer would be sent to the true paradise. So, in other words, they are extreme religious fanatics who believe that as long as their god is reborn and that they follow this god, then they will be sent to their version of heaven while everyone else is sent to hell. Interesting. What we have just seen pop out of Alessa is the result of Dahlia Gillespie rushing things. See, Alessa wasn't quite ready yet to be the mother of this new god. It's kind of like the Jesus story, where uh, the virgin uh, mother gets pregnant with the god or the savior and uh, gives birth to him and yada yada. Well, that's kind of what was happening here. Uh, imagine Alessa to be the Virgin Mary to uh, the very demonic Jesus kind of thing. That was what was going on here. However, like I said, Dahlia wanted to rush things. So that is what we have now. What emerged from Alessa, what we're about to fight, is, ca ca yeah, is called Samael. It's, it's pretty much the unfinished uh, god. It is a completely different entity. At least from what I can understand. If anybody else has played this game and has a better understanding, please correct me. Otherwise, that's what I am getting from this game right now. So, now we got to kill this thing. Here we go. Ah! He's right there! That's my help. Not that bad. The uh, menu screen's a little bit laggy. But this boss is pretty good point. I mean, the hunting rifle takes him down pretty quickly. See? We're already done. This is easily the most disappointing of all of the Sonic Open final bosses. You can tell that this was supposed to be the sun goddess because, as you can take a look at the chest there, that thing has tits. Daddy.
newborn baby over to Harry, and we are now starting to get a little bit laggy here. That's not good. No! Don't lag on me now! No! <laughs> So she's signaling for him to leave now. Go towards the light. With the new baby, basically. Oh, this lag. Oh, I was afraid of this happening. But what can you do? Turn off the frame limit again. Come on. Come on, game, you can do it. Man, I lifted off the frame limit and it's still having lag. It's probably because Fraps is on. Damn it. Will you stop looking at the baby and get going? Because all this fire in the background is causing some lag here. Harry, get your ass moving! Stop looking at the baby! Oh my god. Harry. Harry, go. Harry, this place is gonna burn. Go. Harry. Hello. Get going. Get your ass going. There you go. All right, so Sybil's alive. Ugh. Oh my god, this frame! <laughs> I might have to splice in the ending. Rip from YouTube or something. Look who it is, it's Lisa! <laughs> so Lisa drags Kaufman down with her as punishment for ruining her life. Run guys! Hurry before the lag reaches you! Okay, now I can turn off the frame limit. Don't need to be having them going at full speed. Or full ridiculous speed. Stop with the flares! It's gonna cause lag! Okay, now we're good. Whew. I was afraid we wouldn't be able to make it. Alrighty. So. We defeated Semiel, the Abomination. We saved um, Cheryl. Okay. Yeah, that 
That baby is Cheryl, kind of. It's also Alessa. Cheryl and Alessa were the same person. Like I said, Alessa uh, reincarnated herself to be Cheryl, which they found on the side of the road. Well, now that there was trouble again, she basically said, oh crap. Well, um, time to reincarnate again. So she turns herself, uh, her other self, or herself, other self, a part of her into baby form while she disappears. So she basically reincarnated a second time, and that will become Heather Mason, which is the main character of Silent Hill 3, which I will eventually get to, because Silent Hill 3 is a direct sequel to this game. Silent Hill 2 has nothing to do with any of the other games in the series. Well, it has very little to do. It mostly has to do with a more um, personal subject, whereas other games have to do more with the town. So, as uh, the new game plus, not the new game plus, the good ending plus, we do that by saving Sybil and Kaufman dying. And of course, uh, defeating Samael. If we got the bad ending, we'd actually have to fight Alessa, not Samael. So there's two different bosses. I've never actually fought Alessa before because I don't like bad endings. I like to get the nice happy ending. And this game does have a happy ending, sort of. Uh, I mean, it is kind of bittersweet because, well, Cheryl is gone. But, not fully gone. She's just a baby again, so... Now, Harry gets to start over with a true baby as his daughter. Probably with Sybil, but that's not really explained later on. I guess that's why she wasn't brought back in uh, Silent Hill 3. I don't understand why, though. I really don't understand why. Or maybe she was, I just never paid attention, but from what I understand, it's just Harry and Heather. Anyway, so that is why we see Sybil at the start of the game with Harry picking up uh, the baby instead of Harry's wife, who has passed away. So for the final part of this story, we... There we go. The end. Oh, blooper reel. So, uh, just, just a little bit of a blooper reel, just for laughs. As if they were actors. Officer. Alyssa. <laughs> oh God, this is the best one. Oh my god! Ah! God, look at that eye shadow. Holy crap. I thought it would be funnier if we're a real he got up and banged his head on something. <laughs> and our hero, ladies and gentlemen, Harry Mason. Thank you guys for joining me for Silent Hill. It was a great experience, and I will see you next time. But let's take a look at... Uh, oh, this was on easy mode? Man, well, I did go through most of the game on normal mode, and this is another person's save, so... But I had to do it in order to get the best ending. The best ending possible. I did it for you guys. Game clear, good plus, 11 saves, zero continues. Total time, five hours. Walking distance, that much. Running distance, that much. Items, all but one. <laughs> Defeated enemy by fighting, 140. Defeated by enemy by shooting. So this guy did most of his fighting for melee. A lot of stars there. Alright guys, like I said, thank you very much for joining me for Silent Hill. Okay, and a happy Halloween. It is now 1132-ish. 
or actually 11.29 p.m. on Halloween nights finishing this game. So this is it for me. My Halloween is now over. Coming up next, Persona 4, my favorite RPG ever. And uh, I will uh, do another horror game on the side that I will update every now and then. It'll probably be Amnesia The Dark Descent, but my main focus right now will be on Persona 4 for my uh, first of a few holiday Let's Plays. Persona 4 will be the first one. Recording has already started, so be on the lookout for those. Thank you guys so much. This was fun. This was actually scarier than Fatal Frame 4 now that I think about it. It actually got me a few times. All right. Uh, rambling is done. Good night, everybody.